say hi everybody welcome to watch it wednesday um another watch it wednesday with me stacy marsh i am just going to find you all on my um laptop and phone and, and do a bit of sharing and then i will be right with you so do just bear with me shared that there now to find you on here it's a technology wonder isn't it okay let's just make sure that we're muted we are okay let's have a little look see what we're doing I have found you all. So welcome back everybody, or not welcome back everybody, hello again from me Stacey Marsh. Um, it is Wednesday, oh, I can hear myself talking, it is Wednesday the 21st of September, I wanted to say July then, and it is been a busy old week here so just have a little look at the comments um hi louise hi lisa I'm doing okay although i'm not quite sure what my brain is this week so yesterday i totally forgot it was my parents wedding anniversary until about half past eight at night and then today um i posted in a group that i'm a moderator for asking questions about um thursday posts thinking it was thursday so it's not it's wednesday so <laughs> yeah it's been great fun and um, I've been at school today as well, so my brain feels a little bit extra frazzled. Some of the children were, were quite heightened, so it was all good fun. Uh, but anyway, we shall craft and we shall relax and we shall recover from, or I shall recover from, my missing um, brain this evening. I thought I would play with some Christmas crafting. We've not really done a lot of Christmas crafting yet here, and I'm still trying to ease myself in gently. Um, I've been prepping lots of different classes this week, they're sort of behind me, um, some Christmas, some non-Christmas, so we will get stuck in straight away. Do talk along, do chat along, do add your comments um, in the comments box. If you're watching on replay, um, a very, hello, very warm hello to you, um, thanks for tuning in and watching along. And um, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you hit subscribe, you'll get to notifications of future tutorials and live sessions and bits and pieces from me. So, um, yeah, do um, like and subscribe. Now, let's get cracking. I'm going to flip my screen around, show you my desk, and we shall craft. Okay. I think my mount is really far away. It is. Okay. So there's a little bit of a sneak peek of what we're playing with tonight. There's my grid paper. And I think we are good to go. So tonight I am going to be playing with this little beauty. Um, I've seen lots of things, lots of people playing with this recently. Um, lots of inspiration and my mind is sort of starting to enter the Christmas creativity um, period. But... It's somewhat behind the others, but never mind. We shall never compare ourselves. So let me just straighten up this piece of paper because we're a little bit wonky. That's better. Right, so this Jingle 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 stamp set is in the mini catalogue. And I do believe, I don't know how much it costs, but I will show you all. Let's find it in this catalogue. So at the back, we've got our lovely index. Jingle, 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 where are you? Jingle, jingle, jingle is £21. You will find it on page 26, which is here. And I love the different um, samples they've given us. I'm loving the background stamping there on that green card. 
I'm loving using it with just the infill stamp with the outline coloured um, and the colours really really speak to me so I'm really excited to have a little play I have had a wee little practice before um, you guys have joined me just with something really quick and really simple um, I tend to find when I start with a new stamp set I want to just create something very very straightforward have a play with the stamp set see how they feel um, make sure that the stamps are um, all okay and this was my very quick design earlier on this evening and I've actually used the puffball paint for the first time um, snowfall accents puff paint sorry not puffball snowfall accents puff paint and you can see ever so slightly just on the little hats it's really cute it's perfect for these little Santa hats um, and I'll show you how to use that as well so I'm going to play around and see what we come up with i've already cut one out as well this one i've colored in with some stamping blends and i've tried to create a bit of an ombre effect um with i've gone light cherry cobbler and then a mixture of sweet sorbet light and dark to get that ombre look and i really like it. although i keep glancing at it thinking it says jungle so need to stop that So let's do a little bit of stamping to get us started, shall we? I'm going to start with some basic white card because who doesn't love basic white card? Um, or should we start with some red? Let's start with some... No, let's start with basic white. Let's keep it simple, Stacey. Let's not overcomplicate it. I'm not quite sure my brain can cope with complicated today. So I'm going to cut myself a little layer and I'm going to cut a layer that is nine and a half centimetres by 13.9 centimetres. And I'm going to cut two of these because I want one for the outside of my card and I want one for the inside of my card. Okay. Pop that to one side. And then let's go with should we go with jingle or should we go with believe let's go with jingle so i'm going to start by just doing a little bit of straightforward stamping okay. so i'm going to use a memento ink for this and i'm going to stamp one Three. I wonder if I can get five on here. Four. Oh, that's a good guess. Five. That's really good. I'm really pleased with that. So we have our outline stamp. Now we could colour this, or what we're going to actually going to do is you use this infill image right here. And I'm going to go with a bit of a, let's go with a bit of an ombre look. So I've got five, haven't I? So let's start with Merry Merlot. And I'm going to line this up. This would really work with a Stamparatus, this stamp. And I'm going to get, I'm going to work on the reds becoming lighter as we move down that piece of card. The important thing when you're doing this sort of stamping is to clean your stamp so you don't get darker ink on your lighter ink pad, and you also get a true colour that way as well. So the next one in my list is cherry cobbler. Evening to you, Sandra. Thanks for joining us this evening. Let's go in with Cherry Cobbler. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Now we've got real red. Lovely. 
And then I've got two reds left. I've got Sweet Sorbet and I've got Poppy Parade. So which one of these do we think is darker? Let's have a little look. Easiest way to tell. So that's my Sweet Sorbet. And I actually don't think there's going to be a lot in this. Oh, Poppy Parade is darker. So let's go in with Poppy Parade next. Like so. And then we're going to finish up with our Sweet Sorbet. And Sweet Sorbet is one of our in colours for 2022. So there are our reds that we have there. Let's put that to one side and let's grab ourselves a nice piece of red card. Now this is a piece of 12 by 12 so I need to cut this down. So I'm going to go with a 10 and a half inch sorry ten and a half centimeters not inches turn score it at 14.9 and cut at 29.8 okay so this is my little card coming together jingle 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 and then we've got some of these nice Santa hats stamp and I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to stamp these with I'm going to stamp three of these so I've got one two Okay, let's stamp our infill and I'm going to do that with the bottom one which was Sweet Sorbet. And then I'm going to do one in real red. Real red is definitely my favourite Christmas red. And I'm going to do one in Cherry Cobbler. Lovely. Okay, so that's three different red Santa hats. Now, I promised I would use some of the Snowfall Puff Paint. So the tip with this is to give it a really good shake. And we're going to squeeze it ever so gently because there's quite a lot in this bottle and I'm gonna just give add it to the bottom of the hat and the pom-pom on the edge and I'm not putting much on at all the trick with this is less is more so you can see it's going on like a liquid I'll just show you that you can see that's a sort of shiny liquid now what we're going to do is we're going to heat it with our heat tool and this is how it's going to create the puff action so i'll try and get that on camera so you can see it and it takes a minute or so to just really cure and change so you can see it drying and then it starts to puff And at first I thought, oh, it's not working, but it really does have to dry. So the thinner the layer, the better, and it will happen that little bit quicker. Okay. That's it. And then just 
go the other way. Heat the other tree. That's a really good one, that one. And actually, it pops up quite a lot in some cases. So I'll just show you this up close. You can see that's really quite puffy. And it, just leave it to dry for a moment until it's quite hard, quite solid. And then you can cut them out. So let's just trim around this. Got to love a bit of fussy cutting. And it sets quite solid actually. Has anyone else used it yet? Or has anyone used anything similar? I feel my brain returning to normal as I cut this out, which is quite good, really. use it for the gnome beards oh carol i'm really excited to start playing with the gnomes and um, that is going to be my october card class and i'm very much looking forward to having a play with that i've got a craft day on saturday that's a whole day um and i'm in a hall so i'm away from the children i'm away from everything all my distractions and i can't wait to have a play with those gnomes. I'm going to colour them in, I'm going to watercolour them, I'm going to cut them out. I'm just going to have a lot of fun. So I look forward to sharing some of that with you. Used something similar years ago. I remember using something similar as well, Sandra, although I don't really remember heating it. Um, I might be wrong, I probably didn't use it properly. Um, but um, yeah, it's quite effective. Okay, so there are my three Santa hats and I'm going to stick this down and this is going to be my really simple, very straightforward Christmas card. There's no fuss really, stamps, ink, paper, ta-da, done. So I'm going to pop this inside my card to just strengthen that back page and then in the stamp set obviously it just says jingle 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 so we've got here jingle all the way in the magic and tis the season to be so there's lots of add-on stamps there so let's use oh that's in the magic i want all the way here we go jingle all the way let's put this inside our card to finish it off and I'm going to use Merry Merlot for this perfect 
done. So that is my first card. It's very simple, but when you get a new stamp set, I do like to start with simple, and I'm really, really happy with that. What do you think? Let me know. Whilst you're letting me know, I'm going to create, just clear down my desk, and we will make something else. You wish there were dies. I do as well. Although, where is it? I do like. I did enjoy cutting it out, Wendy. Um, and Sophie's put jingle all the way to Belgium. Woohoo! Yes. How was your holiday, um, Sophie? Do let us know. Um, and Wendy's put she hasn't tried the scan and cut. If in doubt, scan and cut definitely. Or when there aren't dies. So let's just clean off my stamps and we go again. And this time I'm going to use a different sentiment, I think. Okay. So I've also brought to my desk this lovely little stamp set. Um, and this is Trees for Sale. Do you remember the caravan dies in Celebration? The caravan dies went with this um, set. And I'm going to create something now that is a little bit wacky, I think. So let's bring in my card base and over on the global design project this week we have a or there is a colour challenge and the colours are Parakeet Party, Pink, Flirty Flamingo and Shaded Spruce which I haven't actually got here but let me just grab this piece of the Shaded Spruce. Oh, I'm opening a new packet. I love opening new packets of card. And I'm sure everyone opens them differently. So those are our three colours, which you could probably say aren't very Christmassy, but we're going to make it Christmassy, okay? So I'm going to start with my parakeet party card base. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to do a tent fold style, but we're going to do a landscape card. So by 14.9. Okay. So there's my card base. I'm then going to add a layer of basic white. I'm going to bring this in. And I'm going to go with, what should I do, should I do 10 by 10, yeah, let's do 10 by 10. And I'm going to save this little bit of card to use later, okay. So I'm going to now do a little bit of stamping with my trees. So these stamps, it's a bit similar, they are a two-step stamp set. So I'm going to add my background and I'm going to stamp in shaded spruce. Okay. Um, holidays were great, although a bit sad. We had a great time and surprising, amazing weather. That's good to know. It was nice and dry over here, wasn't it? Or up in Scotland. Um, but yeah, a bit of a sombre occasion, sombre time for you to head over here so I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to stamp on okay and I'm going to keep stamping so that we get the sort of illusion that the trees are in the background okay and I love this technique it's a really simple technique. Again, we're just using stamps, ink and paper. To bring this together. Like so. Okay. I'm going to keep my ink pad out. And I'm going to add in the sort of skeleton image. So we're going to build up this image. So I'm adding it back to my shaded spruce. 
and I'm going to line it up and stamp again. And this gives you a lovely detailed look. And then I'm going to do the same with the trees in the background. And it's one of those stamps you can be as precise as you want to. Like so. Okay. So I've now got my piece like so. We need to add in some tree stumps, I think. Do we have a tree stump? We do. It's this little one here. Okay, so I'm just going to take the hat off of my and now I'm going to add in a little bit of soft suede. like so so we have our Christmas trees and now I want to what do I want to do I want to add in some what do I add in anything else no let's go in with our jingle no we don't want jingle we want jolly we want Tis the season to be jolly. Now I actually feel like we need to do a little bit of blending on the top of this just to create a bit of a sky. So let's pull out our pool party ink pad. And let's just create a bit of a sky, shall we? And that makes those trees look even more like they're in the background. And then in the bottom, we want a bit of a sort of woodland floor effect, don't we? So let's grab our, what do we want? Soft suede ink pad. My hairs on my desk. Let's just get rid of that. So I'm just going over that until I'm happy, and I think I am now. I don't actually like this, but nevertheless, we persevere. I'm going to take that off of now. I think. No, do you know what? I'm just going to put it in the bin. I don't like it. It's gone. If in doubt, chuck it away. Right, let's go back. And I'm going to do one. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a circle. If in doubt, cut a circle. Let's cut a little circle from there. You know how you get your own style? That, I don't think, is my style. And I th every time I try and do it, I think, no, it's not me. Start again, Stace. So we start again. So we're going to use a nice circle. And this time, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the background of this card. This is where I wanted to go with this. Okay, so let's add our little stamp here. 
circle up there and I'm going to stamp in parakeet party so I'm going to stamp my outline on my card in parakeet party and I'm going to try and do this systematically okay so we've got lots of jollies So I'm just following this along in lines. And this definitely is playing to my creative side now. And this is quite good. I've got just enough. room perfect so we've got jolly 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 now i'm going to bring in my circle yes this is much better i'm feeling it already and i'm going to stamp a couple of trees on here with my shaded spruce where are you shaded spruce so i'm going to cut the stamp a large one I'm going to stamp a smaller one I'm basically just going to stamp a selection of trees clean my stamps afterwards lovely okay it's coming together now let's quickly cut these out I do believe there's dies for this though it's the trees lock dies isn't it now these are technically retired they were a celebration item but some dies some things you just can't part with and this is one of them for me I love the little caravan in this set okay, let's just attach ourselves a little bit of washi tape how are we getting on guys are we hanging in there are you bored of me yet or are you sticking with me one i like to add a little bit of washi tape just to keep the dies in place our second one and then our third one and then we can actually run all these through the machine at the same time if we leave them alone and they don't move okay let's roll all these through i've just got my dye machine set up next to me love those dies i love them too cassandra let's just all keep our fingers crossed that they might come back sometimes they can pick green things back don't they but let's just put them all on our christmas list and hope that they come back so i've got my one two three trees okay that I'm gonna arrange on my 
um, what do I call it, circle. So let's stick this circle onto our card front. I'm just going to find me some dimensionals. So I'm going to stick this down on to my card front with pads and then I'm going to add my trees okay much much better give me a little woohoo if you think this is better than what I was doing before I think it's miles better And then I've got my jolly that we're going to stamp. So, jolly, where have you gone? We've got our outline jolly, and then we want to do our infill. Never bored watching me, I'll oh, bless you. Thank you. We want our infill jolly, don't we? Okay, let's try and put that on our block straight. And then I want this one here that a little clean yes I agree much better thanks Sandra that's in the bin now never to be discovered again so jolly now let's see what it looks like so we want a flirty flamingo now my flirty flamingo it's a color that I never ever use let's see what my ink pad look comes out like so we've got jolly in pink and then let's stamp it in black and we're going to compare which one we like best okay. so we've also got it in black and then we've got our infill like so Which one? I think I like the one with the black outline. What do we reckon? Black outline. So I'm just going to trim this round. And I'm going to leave myself a little white border around the edge of those letters just so it looks a little bit neater. being really careful here and these letters remind me of the letters that we used or that we had last in the last catalog catalogue the playful alphabet dies they're really similar oh I think they are at least Okay, so we've got Jolly now. Jolly, Jolly, Jolly. I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to attach a little mini dimensional to this Y. And then we'll put a little bit of wet glue here. And then we've got tis for the season. So we've done that. 
and now I want a little bit of floaty flamingo I think see what we can do with this. I'm going to cut myself a little strip that's one and a half centimetres wide and this is just out of my scraps box. Not a card for mass producing, no, absolutely not. Although I did quite enjoy colouring them, I did quite enjoy um cutting that out okay it is the season so let's just stamp this in black on here and then we'll stamp it in pink and we'll see which one we prefer here Now let's stamp it in pink on pink. I've got a lot of stamps to clean tonight after this. This one out. I think I prefer it with the black writing. And we're going to cut this out. Let's just cut it so it's just a little bit wider. And now let's see. Is the season to be jolly? Oh, I've got it in the pink. I like the black. What do we reckon? The black or the pink? I think the black. Let's do that then, shall we? Is the season to be jolly? Okay, and let's just add our piece inside. And then I have one last card to share with you all. And this one, I promise you, will be a good one. So let's do ten and a half. No, let's do ten. Black, yes, definitely black looks better. Pink is quite light. And then let's add this inside our card. So these are coming along nicely, these sets of cards. So that's the one I made beforehand. This is the one we've just done. And then I have one more in my head. So I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. I'm going to use this lovely piece of, um, what do I call it? What do I call it? Parakeet party that we've just cut. Give that a nice little score. And then gonna have a piece of now this is the paper that I've used on that other one so on here I've got this lovely dot and I am going to use that but before I do anything with it I'm going to cut it down to 14.4 do you reckon like that Uh, 
and I'm going to bring in my circle again, which I have put somewhere really, really safe. To put it back. didn't put it back don't you just love it when this happens I do this every live I put something down and then it goes and I've even got my little dye dish here that I don't appear to be using very much let's go for my layering circles and I will find it afterwards so layering circles I'm going to take my big circle and I want to use believe so let believe almost fits in there so let's take my piece of dsp and put myself a nice circle out of there all my cards are good ones oh thank you i do try sometimes i get it wrong so this is my sheet here let me put my die back in the case Although that is the wrong case. I will sort all of this out afterwards. And then I've got Believe, haven't I? So let's stamp my Believe. And I'm going to stamp this three times. Believe, 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 where's my ink pad? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Okay, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Now I am going, not going to stamp it, I'm going to colour it very quickly. So the first one I'm going to colour is in Sweet Sorbet and I'm using the dark shade. And I'm not doing any sort of colouring technique other than just colouring these letters in. Now, I haven't really used any of the other images in this stamp set, only the words, but there's lots of images in this stamp set that would look really nice. I'm looking forward to using those. Just using little movements with this pen. I'm not doing sort of a back and forth action. All of my strokes sort of go in the same direction. This one might be my favourite. I did like that last one we did. But this one might be my favourite. Then I want Parakeet Party. I'm going to have the light shade. Although that is quite luminous. Let's see what Granny Apple Green looks like. Granny Apple Green looks a little bit better. So let's do Granny Apple Green. Can tell I've not used this pen much, the nib is really really fine. Okay. I'm just showing you a few different techniques 
of this stamp set. Has anyone actually started their Christmas shopping yet? I've bought a few Christmas presents. got lots of birthdays coming up in this house though in the next few weeks so can't really do too much Christmas shopping okay. now one more color with this for this third one And I think I'm going to go, let's decide, I'm just looking at the piece of paper that I've got next to me, I think I'm going to go yellow, let's go Daffodil Delight, oh, I'm planning lots of handmade gifts, I love a handmade gift Sandra, I tend to do handmade gifts for, or handmade sort of packaging and things. I love receiving a handmade gift though. Christmas shopping, it's not December yet, oh bless you. I like to be done by the end of November. If it's not done by the end of November, I start to panic. I think because I have lots of meetings in December, the girls tend to have lots of things going on at school. Just, I need to get it done early. Right, so now let's cut this out. So I hope you've still got a little bit more patience with me this evening. Fabric gift bags, they sound lovely. How nice. Just following this round to cut this out. And these are actually quite nice to cut out, these words. Because they're very square, they are quite pleasant to cut out. On over the lines ever so slightly but hey that doesn't matter too much it's a handmade card and we want it to look handmade so I'm really glad I've cut this out really well because it now means I've got to do that to the other three. Believe, believe, believe. I have cut into those E's actually. Just going to check my battery. We're on 8%. I'm just going to plug my phone in. Two seconds, guys.
let's just hope this doesn't cut out. We're all good with charging. Okay, if it cuts out, I will finish this up and then share the finished card over on my blog. So um, let's just hope it carries on. But if it does cut out, I've had a lovely evening with you all and you can join me again next week. Same time, same place. But let's just hope it carries on. I should have done like it. Here's one I made earlier with this letter in. Reminds me a bit of sort of the Grinch, these words. The last one. Especially the green and the red together, they're very Grinch like. My youngest today um, decided that she wanted to watch a Christmas film. I would have been quite happy to watch Arthur Christmas today, one of our favourites. Um, but my husband sadly said, No, it's too early, it's only September. I did say bar humbug to him, but I can't love a Christmas film. Well, oh, thank you for joining us too, Sandra. It's really nice of you. I hope everything is going well for you. Believe, believe believe okay so now I've done that the other thing I have here which is why I've gone with those silly bright crazy bright colors is this sheet this sheet of DSP is amazing and this is from the host set so I'm now just going to cut out a few of these little baubles to bring our card together okay so I've got that one that one Let's have one of these green ones. And let's have this pink one. Okay, so just a little bit more fussy cutting. And then we're done. Trying not to cut these bows off at the top. I've made a really lovely mess of this grid paper tonight as well. Okay, 
you know it's been a good evening when that happens. Three, and then I've got one more to cut out. One, two, three. I thought I chose four. Let's have one more then, shall we? Let's go with what one haven't I got here? I think we need a yellow one, don't we? Where is there a yellow one on here? Let's go with this yellow one up here. Don't chop this bow off. And we are nearly home and dry. Okay, move all of my rubbish over. And then I've got here my, I'm just going to turn that over a minute. Indecisive this evening tonight, aren't I? Actually, I'm going to go with just one. After all of that, I'm just going to do the one. Okay, so I'm going to stick. this to this like so so that's going no it isn't is that in the right place Yes, that is right. So I've stuck that bit down flat. I'm then going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to use the dimensionals to stick this piece down. We've been going for over an hour now, guys. I will wrap it up soon, I promise. all these backs off. I've got lots of rubbish on my desk to clear up after this evening. Okay, let's stick this piece down. So we've now got a little bit of depth between there. So we're going to take this and we've got in the magic. So let's stick this onto our block. After all that, I'm only going to use one of these. Believe in the magic. Let's stamp this in black. Believe in the magic. And then I've either got the red I 
I think I'm going to do the red. And then here I've got my little ball balls like so. What do we think? I quite like it. You could even put a few more on if you wanted as well. And there we have, that's our front of our card. And then we just need a piece for the inside. And this is gonna be 10 by 14.4. And there we have it. We have made four cards tonight with the Jingle 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 stamp set. Just moving some of these pieces out of the way. So we've gone for that one, we've got this one, we've got this one and we've got this one. So I've showed you how to use the stamp set as a two-step stamp set. I've showed you how to use just the outline to colour in. We've used the puff paint. We've used just the outline and done some background stamping. And then, of course, we've added in some really, really bright colours. So that's it for this evening. Thank you so much to everyone who stuck with me and followed along, commented, asked questions, um, and generally been really, really lovely. Um, I'll be live again on Wednesday, same time next week at half past eight on YouTube. Do join me if you can. Everything I've all used tonight is available to purchase from my online store, which you can find at stacymarsh.co.uk. And if you have any questions, please do get in touch. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.